quite worrying about these companies is that they have um, they rely upon network effects. Uh, so this is the idea that the more people who use a particular platform, the more valuable that platform becomes for everybody else. Um, so as more and more people use Facebook, it becomes more and more valuable to everybody else as well. So this leads to a sort of winner-takes-all situation where you end up getting monopolies in each of these different sectors. So you get monopolies in search engines, you get monopolies in e-commerce, you get monopolies in social media. Uh, and this gives these companies a lot of power as they start to basically grow incredibly quickly uh, and they start to expand across the entire world. Uh, and there's not really any possible competition against them. So the question really is, uh, what can be done nowadays with these platforms? And I think there's a number of sort of regulations that we can imagine. Uh, but I think we really need to think about this in terms of them being monopolies, providing public goods. So social media is, you know, the public sphere of the 21st century. Uh, E-commerce is something which is, um, you can think of logistics as being a sort of basic public necessity. Uh, and search engines are basically the way in which we access the internet. So you don't have access to everything, you go to Google and find it. So these are all sort of public goods in a way, and because they're monopolies, traditionally a public good that was monopolized, we would say, well, uh, let's nationalize it, or let's bring it into some form of public ownership so that we can run it for the public rather than being for private interests. So I think we need to sort of reignite that argument for today. Now, the problem is it's a bit different than, say, taking over the train lines back in the early 1900s or the oil industry and stuff. Uh, they're much more global entities, so it's a bit difficult to think about what it means to, uh, particularly to nationalize them. I think one thing that states can do is to think about uh, different elements of what these companies are doing. So a major thing that Amazon is doing and Google is doing and Microsoft is doing right now is to move into cloud computing. Uh, now, cloud computing is a highly profitable uh, business unit for them. Uh, in, in terms of margins, it's actually the most profitable for most of these companies. Uh, but you can imagine states investing uh, a relatively small amount of money to build up a sort of public cloud where individuals can then have access to computing for very cheap costs. Uh, businesses, small businesses and medium-sized businesses could have access to this stuff for a very cheap price as well. And you could basically outcompete Amazon and Google on its own terms for those sorts of things.